video is supposed to be a fashion video. It's supposed to be animal print video. But unfortunately, um, all of the items uh, have not come in. And I really want everything to come in because there's so many great pieces. So the moment that they come in and I can film it, it may be on a Saturday, it may be on a Monday, but as soon as I can do that, I am going to, um, I'm gonna film it. So instead, I'm gonna do the front porch video to just, there's, the, the shipping is just taking a lot longer than normal. Um, all right, well, let's jump into front porch for fall. Hey guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so today's video is on my front porch makeover for fall. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> If you're already subscribed to my channel, I just want to say thank you so very much. If you are new here or you have not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell, and that way you won't miss out on any videos. All right, so the first thing that I do when I'm looking at whatever area of my home, whether it be outside or inside, is I pick a color scheme. Uh, this year I decided to decorate in black and white, uh, check print, and gingham, and I sort of went right with that same aesthetic right onto my uh, front porch. So So the first thing I had to do actually was power wash the front porch and do some touch up painting. And so I, we, I painted the, the railing up on the top uh, black and then my door was sort of a bluish color. The other thing I did was paint the door black. Uh, and then I, we have three light fixtures up above. So we replaced those two at the ends with Edison bulbs and then the one in the center, which is bigger over the door with Edison bulbs as well. I'm obsessed with Edison bulbs. Um, it looks very similar to what we put in the master closet, if you remember. Once all the cleaning and the changing of the fixtures was done on the front porch, um, I wanted to zhuzh up the furniture. So I have a porch swing that we put up and I had two kind of rocking chairs uh, wicker rocking chairs. They were brown. Uh, they didn't have them in a black, so I put them, I made them a black. The spray paint is my favorite thing. So I spray painted those black, and uh, then it was time to assemble everything. So the first thing I did was ground everything with rugs. So I have two huge, I think these ones are eight by tens on each side. Uh, our front porch is fairly big, which is which is one of the things I love. I've always wanted a front porch. And then the new piece was a black and white checkered print rug. And then I got a welcome mat. Um, they came together, but the check print rug was smaller than what I wanted. So I actually bought a larger one. Really the, the patio is kind of broken into three sections and the porch swing, the two chairs, and then of course the center, which is the front door. Uh, before I started on those three areas, I did put floral, uh, I put flowers and plants up. So I have two hanging baskets that have faux florals in them. Um, so I have those hanging in two baskets and then I have these really pretty uh, little plants uh, that are hanging. I thought they just went so well, it adds that pop of fresh and green. And so I have those hanging in the front. And then I have two uh, planter boxes that I have sitting on the handrail. And uh, I just put flowers in there. Let's start with where the porch swing is. Pretty simple, all I did was put some throw pillows. Uh, these are very similar to the ones that I showed on the interior, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll list it as well. And uh, so black and white check, and then there's uh, ones with pom-poms, and then I got a lumbar style pillow that says, welcome to my porch, I think is what it says, and boom, you're done. Um, I love a porch swing. It's just one of those things I've always wanted since I was a kid. On the opposite side, that's where I had spray painted those two rocking chairs that are wicker, and I spray painted a little wooden table that I had picked up at like a garage sale way back when, before a pandemic. <laughs> and um, 
just again decorated those. These two pillows were super cute because they had the gingham, the black and white, um, and then they had a little bit of green in them and they both said home just in a different way. And um, I think they just look so cute. And then on the table, I just, uh, you can buy white pumpkins. Um, so I have uh, stacks of white, two stack, two pumpkin, white pumpkin stacked, and then I had spray painted a black pumpkin. And that was the decorating for that area. And then the front door, I bought two swirled topiaries. Um, I love those. They're gonna be perfect for year round. Christmas time, I'll put little twinkle lights on them and the um, mat we talked about, and then the uh, I just added a few uh, pumpkins that I had spray painted, and then the other thing that I added was the wreath. Now, right now, it is a breast cancer awareness wreath um, for October. When it hits November 1st, I actually, I'll put a little picture here, it's not here, I just ordered this one. Um, it's an olive leaf, and I thought that was really pretty and different, and it'll bring out some green, and so um, that one, um, as soon as November 1st hits, that one will go up. Uh, on each side of the door, I have window, and then on each side of the window, um, I have a sign that says, Welcome Fall, and I have a sign that says Home. <clears throat> the home I love because it will stay all the way until spring because I have a welcome spring <laughs> one and the fall one will come down and then a Christmas one will come up. I'm going to show you a few pictures at the end here during the day and at night and I think it turned out really pretty and I think once we're able to get our house painted we've got two other big projects that are before the house painting. Um, our new deck is starting next week. Um, so that is a big project. Um, we're not building it, but um, I designed it. So I will show you what that looks like because I'm very excited. I hope it turns out how it is in my head. Um, so that's it guys. That's how I decorate for fall. Super simple. Um, I love the pillow coverings. Those are one of my favorite new things. Um, these ones are great because they're nice and thick and heavy and um, are perfect for the outdoors. So if they get dirty, you're gonna be able to throw them in the washing machine and it's not a problem. So um, I love those. video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you for the next project you never know what it might be uh, so hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon bye guys